Hello there, the internet. Uh, this will be my first ever vlog. I'm trying out from a uh, moderately and deceptively uncomfortable Papazon chair. Uh, thanks for uh, Mrs. Cronk from Mount Vernon Middle School for uh, challenging me. I guess that's what you do when you're challenged. You thank the people for challenging you now, which is weird, I guess. But you know, thanks because I've been meaning to uh, do vlogging and get into vlogging for quite some time now. So I guess I'll chop this up and use it as my intro to the vlog channel uh, about teaching. Uh, my name is Scott Patterson. I teach at Mount Vernon High School. It's a small high school in central Ohio. Uh, I teach science. My schedule kind of fluctuates from year to year. This year I have biology and life science, which is more of an like at-risk biology type classroom. I do the flip classroom with my biology class, not as much uh, with the life science classroom, and that's, you know, about me. I've been meaning to get into vlogging, so here we go. I was uh, challenged to the uh, Teach Thought. It's a 30-day vlogging. I'm uh, going to use the hashtag Reflective Teacher uh, to sort of share these out. It was supposed to be 30-day vlog, one every day of September. Uh, clearly, well, I'm behind already as usual with most things. <laughs> so uh, this is the third day of September, but the first day of the vlog, and to keep it from getting too rambly because I really don't want to edit this at all, I had better uh, get going. So day, day one for the uh, Teach Thought vlog, well, blog challenge, but I'm vlogging because video, uh, is to uh, state my goals, and it says I get to be as abstract as I'd like to be. So... I can get all kinds of crazy with it then. Uh, generally, my goals for the year, I want to want to have fun while I'm teaching. I think it's important that I have fun. I think it's important that my students have fun. I've been working my way, my way through this book, uh, Teach Like a Pirate, and it's got this sort of charge for teachers. You know, if your kids didn't have to be in your room, would they still show up? And sort of the idea is that if the answer is no, then you probably need to make it better. Uh, basically under the idea that engagement is way stronger of a motivator than, you know, enforcement and adherence to some kind of rules. And I think, you know, I'm sure I'll get some, like, shaming for this, and I'm sure probably, like, school doesn't have to be fun, you just have to learn. Shut up. Because it should be fun. I think science is fun, and I teach science, so it, it should be fun for them. Uh, 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 there's a quote that I have, I use it as my background, from the late Carl Sagan. It basically says, everybody's a scientist, and then we somehow ruin it for them. So it's my job to help the recovery process and bring that back. So I think I should be having fun, and I think the kids should be having fun in my classroom. Uh, it's probably not going to be every day because I'm not that good yet, but I'm getting there. Um, the other thing I want to do is essentially teach science, and I've thought about this for a long time and uh, shamefully have not acted on it nearly enough, is I want, to, I want to do more science in my classroom. I want the kids doing science. A lot of times science classes are taught sort of like, like a history of science and not really teaching them science. So I really want my students to learn science by doing science. I want to provide them with more authentic learning opportunities and just bring more labs and bring more experimentation into the mix along with, you know, some inquiry. Uh, I watched a TED Talk and actually got to meet with Aaron Reedy. He's down at uh, UVA now. A really cool guy, but he, uh, he does some really amazing stuff when he taught public school in uh, Chicago. And so I uh, sort of want to, you know, he got me all fired up last spring, so I really want to bring more science in there and use some more like collegiate resources to help and maybe try and link some things up. So we'll we'll see how we'll see how that goes as the year drags on and the uh, tyranny of monotony just creeps in on me. Uh, the other thing I really want to do, especially with uh, well with everybody, but especially with my biology students, I really want to improve their scientific literacy get them to understand what science is capable of, what we can do with science, get them to be able to hopefully by the end of the year read a scientific article like published in a scientific journal, which is like those are hard for a college graduate to read, let alone uh, a sophomore in high school to read. So that's that's a big challenge for me, but I really I think it's possible and I think with appropriate scaffolding 
Uh, it'll help me learn more about improving literacy skills and reading skills of my students, and it will help them really understand more about how science works and how science is done and why they should think of this as a viable career choice, because it is a lot of reading and a lot of writing when you get to the upper level sciences, along with the doing of all the science. And I, I just think it's important like for citizens just to understand like key scientific facts and like key scientific like processes because if not they're never going to be informed voters when any kind of like science issue is ever up for debate like they tend to be from time to time you know i, th I think stuff like they have a lot of kids they don't even understand what a hypothesis is and if you're sitting there thinking oh it's an educated guess then you don't uh, know what a hypothesis is either for more on that uh I'll probably have a rant about it sooner or later, but I will save that for now because I've been rambling too much. And my final goal, uh, more for my life science students, because for biology students, it tends to just be like a minor inconvenience that this isn't even a thing, but the Ohio graduation test. That's right, standard-based people. Feel free to just crap all over me in the comments because I'm talking about the test and how I want to do a better job teaching to the test. By teaching to the test, I mean, I want my life science students to be prepared for the test. Uh, for a lot of them, it's actually a hurdle that affects whether or not they graduate high school. And right or wrong, we can have, like, all kinds of discussions about that. But the reality is right now that they have to pass that test in order to graduate high school. I don't care about how it affects my evaluation. I, I really don't. I'll probably be fired for it sooner or later. So just there it is. But for them... They need to pass to get a high school diploma, to get, you know, ahead in life, to get better jobs later. And so a lot of the kids in my life science class will pass or fail that test based on what I do with them this year in my classroom. And I really, I want to get all my kids to pass that test so they can graduate high school and, you know, move on and take what they've learned from my class and become productive citizens in the world. So those are, those are my goals. I'm going to leave the comments open down on the bottom, so if you want to discuss any of this or you just feel like trolling the crap out of me, just go crazy down there in the comments or you could do a video response. It'd be really cool to get, you know, some good back and forth video vlog action going with different teachers. And tomorrow I will vlog about uh, something else. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and weren't too bored or scared or mustached.